My name is Roland Mugumia. I'm a research support uh, specialist for the program on climate smart livestock systems in Uganda. Specifically, my role is to support the, the three key activities that uh, the program will be carrying out. The first is on uh, dissemination of climate smart livestock intervention, and that entails uh, establishing the greenhouse gas emission baselines, uh, testing in the interventions that the best bet interventions that are being carried out, and trying to ensure that they are adopted by the livestock uh, farmers. The second one is on uh, policies, which ideally entails integration of climate change mitigation and adaptation in uh, development of uh, livestock related uh, policies. And for this, uh, it will involve me supporting the establishment of the multi stakeholder learning platforms. Through that, we'll see how the development related pathways can come into place and trying to ensure that uh, the policies are developed th through uh, the lessons that I will be learned as well as the action research. And the third and most important one is on development of the measurements, uh, reporting and verification uh, protocols, which are key for the country. And this involves uh, enhancing the capacities of the stakeholders that will be responsible for uh, reporting to the United Nations uh, Framework Convention on Climate Change Secretariat. Because it will contribute to the three key pillars of uh, climate smart agriculture. That is one, increasing uh, livestock production because uh, Uganda in particular, the livestock product Activity is still low, so if this project can contribute to that, then that is good. The second one is on uh, reducing or contributing towards reduction of greenhouse gas uh, emissions, and since these emissions are the ones that uh, contribute to climate change, so if the project can contribute to that, then uh, then that is good. And the third one is on uh, adaptation towards uh, climate change. So I believe these three key pillars are really, really important, and that's why the program is indeed important. What excites me is that uh, among us all that it will be doing is that it will lead to the development of uh, the measurement, reporting and verification protocols which will be developed using the tier 2 method. At the moment the country does not have those ones, so if they can develop those protocols then it means that uh, Uganda as a country can be better placed to make what I'm calling better reporting to the United Nations uh, Framework Convention on Climate Change. And by so doing, it means also the country is better placed to attract uh, climate finance because the funders of climate finance are interested in countries that have these protocols and they are using those protocols because if they give us the funds, then they are able to, they can uh, objectively verify if we are achieving what we committed to or even the interventions that are being carried out, you can see the impact of those interventions based on the protocols that have been developed and being used. Now, for example, you cannot, as a country, you can't say that you're going to reduce on your greenhouse gas emissions when you do not know the level of the greenhouse gas emissions. Specifically for livestock, these protocols will entail uh, determining the uh, objectively the greenhouse gases that are being emitted and those protocols will be used subsequently to track down how the emissions have, are going to be reduced in the subsequent years. In the multi-stakeholder learning platforms, there will be many livestock related stakeholders. There will be a series of meetings and would, will, uh, they will lead to the development of uh, the livestock development pathways as well as action research and uh, lessons that will be learned. It is through these lessons that will be learned and action research that will develop recommendations which are key for development of the livestock related policies. <laughs>